Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this quick video I'm gonna explain to you how hacking works in Cyberpunk 2077 as well as giving you a few tips how to make your life easier when it comes to hacking in this game. So when you first enter the hacking screen, that's what you see. Let me explain to you what exactly you need to pay attention to. So firstly, let's talk about the buffer. The buffer size, which in my case is eight, but if you start the game, you probably only have four. That's basically the amount of inputs it can take during hacking. So if you want to put in the last sequence, which has the four inputs, you need to put all them four inputs perfectly in order to crack it. If you do one mistake, you won't be able to crack it anymore because you won't have enough buffer space. Now, the second thing important is the timer. Although the timer isn't that really important because it only starts when you start inputting the code. So you have all the time in the world to think about what you want to press first and then next. And as long as you don't press anything yet, the timer won't start. So let me explain how it works. So you're always gonna start hacking with the first row. So you need to choose the input within the first row. And once you choose that, from that point, you will need to choose the next input from the column. So let's say if I would choose the BD, the first BD, then the next option I will be given is to choose any input from the first column because I chose the first PD. And then once I put the next input, it will switch back to rows again and then columns and then rows and so on and so on. So let me give you an example. Let's just ignore first two sequences and just focus on the last one. And let's imagine for a, for a second that I only have four buffer size. So basically I can't make any mistake. And if I would choose the second BD in the first row, I would fail that because after choosing the second BD in the first row, I would be given an option of choosing the next input from the second column. And as you can see in the second column, there is no 55 number, which would automatically fail the cracking. So this example is actually pretty lucky because by inputting the third sequence, you will also get a first sequence automatically because as you can see, the first two inputs are exactly the same. So let me put in the first two inputs, BD55, and let me just stop for a second here. So at this point, if I only had four buffer size, the sequence number two would automatically fail because it requires three inputs. However, I would only have two spaces left. But because I have eight buffer size, I still have plenty of space left to put correct input. And as you can see here, I finished typing the last sequence in the bottom row, which doesn't have a 1C input. But because I still have four spaces left in the buffer, I can afford to put another input that has nothing to do with the sequence number two. So I'm gonna put input 55, which will bring me to the last column, which gives me a chance to put the last sequence. As you can see, 1C, BD, E9. And that's it, the whole code is cracked. Also, it is very important to know that you can highlight all the inputs on the left panel by hovering over the sequences, which might help you with, their, with your planning part. However, there will be situations where, especially if you have small size buffer like four, that it's just impossible to crack the code because you just don't have enough spaces or in the first row, you just don't have the first input of that sequence. But there is a way around it. The, the pretty obvious way around it is make sure you save the game before you start hacking. That way, if you don't like the sequence, you can just reload the save and try again. You will get uh, different sequences. However, there is also another way to do it. And let me show you the example here. I started hacking. Uh, pay attention to the timer. So I have 33 seconds. And let's say for whatever reason, I don't like that sequence. So if you don't like the sequence, you can just quit out of it and then start hacking again. But as you can see, you will lose a couple of seconds from your timer. Now the timer still won't start unless you start putting the code. However, you will have less time to put all the inputs whenever you're ready to do so. And lastly, how to get the bigger buffer size. Well, it is actually quite easy. All the Ripper dogs in the game they sell different operating systems and different operating systems have different buffer size. And as you can see here, 
here is my 8 buffer size operating system. Here is the old one that you get at the beginning of the game, which has only 4 buffer size. And this guy has for sale 2 other ones, which both actually have 5 buffer size. So I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.